ABC General Hospital spoilers reveals that the WSB side had a plan to blow up Greenland to destroy all of Victor's people as well as the pathogen he wanted to use to destroy the world. Laura at first tries to hide the WSB to give Valentine's group a chance to save these kidnapped by Victor because Laura knows that once the WSB finds out, it will definitely choose to kill all of Victor's people for the lives of many people. Now, when she received the news, she quickly informed Curtis and Drew that the WSB was about to blow the entire island off the map, and they had to leave Greenland as quickly as possible. Otherwise, they will have to die with Victor when the WSB side is preparing to leave. What will Victor, will Curtis and Drew have to do when they can't save people? Do they really have to choose to save their lives and leave? What will happen? However, of course, Curtis and Drew won't give up so easily. Even if there was little time left, they would still choose to save people. Furthermore, Valentine was there. The two sides will work together to save lives. They don't have to kidnap and kill Victor once they have the WSB. Now it is enough to just take the kidnapped people away. Curtis will gather more Spencer and Trina to board the Haunted Star to prepare to leave the island. Valentine also took Liesel off the island after receiving Curtis's signal. Laura called Robert and wanted to give him a little more time so they could move as far away from the island as possible, because surely this explosion will be huge and destroy the whole island of Greenland. The Valentine group had successfully left and Victor had yet to detect this anomaly. Will the WSB successfully destroy the entire island and Victor? Will everything come to an end? Meanwhile, Carly is now very worried and impatient when the person who accused Carly of insider trading has not been found yet. Both Michael and Sunny are investigating. Diane tries to help Carly buy more time for Michael and Sunny to investigate. Now both Michael and Sunny suspect that Ned did this, but there was no evidence and Ned also denied that he was not the one to accuse Carly. Olivia and Ned are determined to find out who reported Carly's insider trading to the SEC. Ned is wronged. He doesn't want others to think badly of him. Fortunately, Sunny still trusts him making him more in the spirit of vindication for himself. Michael and Sunny are determined to help Carly find out. Even if Carly is really caught, they will help Carly escape. Will Ned find out who accused Carly of insider trading? Carly won't have to go to jail, will she? How will things turn out?